hi guys in this video i will show you how to add date and time to your ionic app so to, to display the date and time i will declare a label here and assign a ng model variable to that thing so in the ts file i will declare a variable here so to in ionic you can access the current date using the function date okay so this will give us the date object so let me just save this i will save it is in html file so now you can see the date here but that is not much readable right so we need different date formats there is no built-in function in ionic 3 or javascript for us to display date in a custom format so for that we will be writing our own function so this will be get formatted date so i will make another date instance here So what we can do is uh, we can access the date, year, month of the data object and make our own formatted data object. So for this I uh, will just declare a variable named year, year equal to let's take data object dot get full year. so month equal to data object get month date equal to data object dot get date so here uh, I will declare another variable this dot formatted date equal to we can make here by default all these functions give us the integer so I need to make them to the strings so i will just make all them to strings here so now i can add it here just the call the function here and I will declare this variable here and add, add in another label So if I save it here and save the TS file. You can see the form read here. So I forgot to put columns here. So let me just put those.
you can see the month is coming as 0 by default this January is indexed by 0 you can actually declare another array here whereas month array you can put 12 months here like uh, January February March and so on and you can access that array using the month you can access that array using the month see now we are getting the form data so you can declare the format whatever you want we can again convert this formatted date into data object using same date function so let me uh, create another variable here so I will just pass this thing this formatted date to the formatted data object equal to new date So if I save it here, you can and add a label, another label to display on this thing you have. I'll just as you can see, this is the original data object. I'm formatting the data object to be like this and I am again converting the formatted data date to data object you can notice the difference the time is 0 0 here you can get the unix time stamp of the current date using get time function so we can get unix time is new date or I will just copy this current date dot get time. so I will add a label here so we can see what it is giving So this is a unix time term of the current data object that's all folks thank you for watching please subscribe for more videos